New Zealand rugby star Sonny Bill Williams, who happens to also be a Muslim, posted a picture of him and a friend praying before a game and Instagram took it down. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, Instagram removed this picture due to copyright reasons. Sunny was a bit confused, so he asked Instagram to explain in a post. He goes, Hello Instagram, and to all that reported this photo. I'm wondering why this was removed from mine and Uffa's page. Surely a simple picture of someone expressing their gratitude for what they've been blessed with is okay. So yeah, it seems like Sunny's genuinely confused and you know, it doesn't really make sense to him, so he's asking Instagram, yeah? He was later told that the picture he received, the name of the photographer was actually cropped out and he posted it up. So he obviously didn't know and as soon as he found out, he apologized to Instagram and the photographer. A simple misunderstanding, right? I mean, we did read the post after all. We have the evidence, no one can dispute the evidence, we heard the evidence, we saw the evidence. Yeah, exactly, we, we saw all the evidence, yeah? But that doesn't make for a good headline, guys! And you need to know how these newspapers function. There's gotta be drama, mate. And if there's no drama, these guys create drama. <laughs> Let's see how the media interpreted this, yeah? Through their prism, of hate and division. All right, so the Daily Mirror, yeah, they used words like fumes, anger, and unhappy. I don't know about you, but we just read that post. Which bit in there shows him fuming or displaying any anger? I want to know. In fact, the most you can say is the guy's a bit confused. So, all right, let's move on to the toilet paper. The Daily Mail. They also, of course, jumped on the bandwagon and used words like fury. Flip an egg, mate. Fury. I can't believe it. <laughs> Neither can I, mate. Because my question is, how on earth do you arrive to that sort of conclusion from what he said? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that. But let's not forget how humble and blessed our two brothers looked in the middle of the pitch before the game in front of thousands of fans just asking the help of the Most High. Now as we know from the hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Allah says if he mentions me in a gathering, I will mention him in a greater gathering. Now imagine you're remembering Allah in a gathering of thousands. Boy! Boy, imagine the gathering that these two are going to be remembered in. Boy, people like you and me, we get embarrassed to wear certain clothing or pray at work or at school. But when you see people like this, like the strength that they are displaying, that we get Islamophobia, imagine the Islamophobia and hate comments these guys get. But still, like a rock, mashallah. May Allah bless them with more strength and may Allah give us a fraction of the strength that these guys have. And the other thing that was amazing was when he realized his mistake, he immediately said, you know what? He held his hands up and said, you know what? I should have been more patient. And you know what? That's so true because a lot of relationships whether it's marriage or whether it's friendships or whether it's in family or even teacher student, a lot of misunderstandings and issues happen because a person wasn't patient. What we do is we fall prey to anger and when you're angry, they say that it's like a person's crazy because the blood is not flowing in certain parts of the brain. I think the prefrontal cortex or whatever, you guys probably know more than me, yeah? Technically, you can actually say that the person not thinking properly, yeah? Because of the distribution of blood in the person's brain. Just think of an example, yeah? There's two bottles of fizzy drink. You shake both of them. One of them, you leave. The other one, you open straight away. What's going to happen? The one that you open straight away bursts open. The one that you leave, for a good couple of minutes and then you open, calm, relax. So next time you guys are angry, hold, 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 hold. Count, count in your head. Have a technique, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, I don't know what. Leave the gathering, breathe or have a happy place, yeah? <laughs> Whatever you guys do, just don't react at that moment in time. Yeah, wait for a good minute, calm yourself, 
and then react. Watch. If you do this, boy, boy, watch. Your relationships, mashallah, will have greater mileage. Otherwise, if you fall prey to anger, hijab, what's going to happen? You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Hope you guys benefited from this. May Allah bless our brothers, mashallah. And until next time, guys. Assalamu alaikum.